Hello and welcome to The Wave of Things. My name is Andrei Savitier. If you watched my last episode, I was challenged by Fabrizio Lusso to name my top 10 albums of all time. A really hard task. And now I will continue this list. Uh, this, the band you hear right now, is called Van der Graaf Generator. It's a progressive rock band from the early 70s. In my early 20s I listened a lot to progressive rock um, after Wildest Decline. But this album, Age to He Who Am The Only One, is still on my playlist. And I think it's one of the darkest progressive rock albums. Obsessiveness, futility and scorn Move to speak, you made your choice We had our chance and lost our voice Death and June were pioneers of dark wave music and of neo-folk and the album The World That Summer from 1986 is a milestone in music history as it marks the transition from one genre to the other. After John Fox left Ultravox in 1979, he returned with his solo career in 1980 with the album Mathematic. This album became a huge influence on the synth-pop music to come in the following years, and I think that the song Underpass is one of the most danceable songs in music history. There cannot be a dark alternative list without the cure. The album Pornography from 1982 is in my opinion the best album as it symbolizes the peak of the Cure's dark era. Leibach is the greatest art project of our time. With the album Spectre from 2014 they recruited Mina Spiller as their new singer and catapulted the message of Leibach to the 21st century. <laughs> <laughs> 